Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how you can use uh, Reddish Job Store in Upscheduler module of Python. So in order to use this what we have to do is the following. So dash f r this so uh, <coughs> let's go ahead and use pip to install dash dash user redis this is a module that we are going to need and we are going to use the yum to install the redis once um, redis is installed uh, what we have to do is to configure it to listen on all network addresses and then what we would like to do is to enable and start the service. So, Redis is installed. We are going to use the systemctl start Redis and the enable Redis. And we will use the sudo vi at c redis.conf. And here we would like to go to the bind section and here under the bind I would like to comment this one out and say that I need you to listen on all interface addresses then I have to use the systemctl restart redis and now we can go ahead and script so rdis.py so in order to use Redis, what we would like to do is to import the sys module, the OS module, and OS module, and from up scheduler dot schedulers dot background import blocking scheduler. And from date time, we would like to import date time that and uh, time delta. So let's create a notification, and this notification is going to rec receive a time. And what we would like to say that I will be notified at and the time here also let's just wrap it around the str function and then we can cr create our scheduler which is going to be a blocking scheduler then we can use the scheduler that odd job and we say that the notification is the job we want to use the date based scheduler and the run date is going to be the alarm time and <coughs> the arguments that I would like to pass is going to be the date time that now and now I have to define the alarm time and this is going to come from the date time that now plus time delta and we want to add a second of five so five seconds after I kicked off the script I want to be notified and uh, we also have to use the scheduler that add job store and here we define redis and the jobs key is going to be the example that jobs and the run times key is going to be the example that run times all right we have the job store configured the alarm time we added the job and all we have to do is to use the scheduler. Let's start. 
Now we should be able to run this one. So let's see. It has problem with the alarm. Look up. And oh, hold on. Oh no, we have the run date, alarm time date function. What's the problem? Error has no attribute alarm. Yeah. Great. So now it seems to be working. Let's go ahead. It has the piety the usage warning. And uh, it seems like uh, in the first one you can see that the notification was missed. But then we can see that the notification has successfully arrived. And if I run it once again, you can see it is working. So this is how you can use Redis Job Store with App Scheduler module of Python. See you in the next one.